Well, Dabney, uh, it was not too many months ago that you came to Dallas and Fort Worth and we talked about Buffalo Bill. And uh, let's get that out of the way. Anything going to happen now with Buffalo Bill? or No, it, it's over. They canceled the show about uh, six or seven weeks ago, as I recall. Big disappointment for you? Well, in one respect it was. It was certainly a you know, memorable experience. Uh, but I would rather it happen now than do it just one more year. I would, my first preference would be, do it, uh, be to do it maybe another four or five years. But barring that, I would rather it be canceled now and then move on to something else than do it just one more year and then have it canceled then. So uh, I, I, feel, I feel I made the adjustment rather quickly on that because I had a feeling that's what would happen even if it went on another year, that it would be canceled maybe next year. Ratings were not sensational. So, and that's very important to those network people. So, um, I feel fine, and I'm now very active again and doing another motion picture starting uh, next week, as a matter of fact, and in the Broadway show in the fall. My goodness, what is the motion <coughs> picture? The Young Man with One Red Shoe, with the Tom Hanks and uh, Stan Rigotti directing, and then the Broadway show is Precious Sons. Uh, Alan Arkin is directing that. George Firth wrote that. So yeah. it sounds like things are happening, fun yeah. things are yeah. happening for you. Well, let's talk about Cloak and Dagger because um, I wonder if you've ever done a dual role before. No, I haven't. Uh, no, per se, I haven't. I felt like I've been doing different people and within one one uh, one character before, but uh, this is the first time, and it was a, a good experience, I think, and uh, one that I think every actor looks forward to playing a a dual role in anything, stage, film, television, whatever. And particularly I enjoyed it because I was working with the Henry Thomas, and uh, who is a wonderful kid and a wonderful actor, very talented, highly professional, and just one of the boys. He's a great kid. You know, Dabney, I, I have uh, kind of been so fascinated and maybe made a little bit more of a study of Henry than I would some uh, actors, child actor, actors particularly. and. I'm just absolutely amazed at that child's concentration. Mm -hmm. Is that is that what it is with him? Well, that's one of the ingredients, and I think one some, one of the ingredients that any actor or, or anybody doing anything as as uh, proficiently as, as he does, and and and, uh, but it's a combination of concentration and talent and creativity and the strength of character to express oneself, which he has, and he does it very well when something's not quite right and he feels something is could be changed and should be changed. He's quite capable of doing that and speaking his own mind, and it, and it always made sense. And uh, <clears throat> so it's a combination of all those things, and he's wonderful talent, wonderful, unique at this, this point, very, uh, one of the best. I don't think he has studied, has he? I don't, uh, I don't know, and usually I should, I, I know the answer to that question immediately, but I don't recall his ever saying that he, he studied uh, uh, formally, but uh, it certainly doesn't show. I mean, he's, he's right on the button, and uh, in the two things I've seen, that's this and E.T., I mean, he's wonderful. It would seem to me, maybe, that if he did study, that it would just kind of mess him up, do you think? No, uh, unless unless you're saying from the, from the standpoint that he, he's uh, a child, uh, and even that, I don't know, uh, that's a subjective question. I, I don't recall ever in my experience thinking they should leave uh, the, the, uh, the acting people, uh, acting uh, teachers should leave someone alone. I, I think it, if you have a good teacher, you can't help but benefit by, by that experience. Yeah. Um, you have made, in doing some research on you, is it four movies for Sidney or with Sidney Pollock? Uh, Four or five. Uh, this property is condemned. This property is condemned. Uh, Slender, Slender Thread, Thread Scalp Hunters, Tootsie, and um, I think that's it. I think it is. No, I did. I did Bruce Dern's voice, one sentence in the Castle Keep. For some <laughs> reason, I'll never understand why. Bruce Dern's a very fine actor. <laughs> But for some reason, maybe he, Bruce was out of town or something, but uh, they had one little sentence, one line. is uh, go down to the pharmacy and take a right. I think that was the line, something like that. Down to the drugstore. He had something over his mouth. And so they brought me in. I said, go down to the pharmacy and take a right. That was it. That was <laughs> it. So I've worked with him five times. <laughs> 
Did you get billing? No, <laughs> I didn't get money either. But uh, no, I, I did. I got paid for it. But uh, yeah, that was a, a wonderful movie. Highly underrated, incidentally. Did you ever see that? Come to think of it, Castle Keep. No, I have not. Strange, but wonderful movie. No. Yeah. Uh, how did you and Sydney become? Uh, acquainted in the beginning. Sydney was my teacher at the Neighborhood Playhouse in, in, uh, in New York, an acting school I went to. And uh, I, went, I, I attended two years. I think he, he came out to California during my second year. He was my teacher there. And uh, from that point on, we've been friends uh, ever since. I came out to California maybe two years after that. And uh, we've been friends ever since uh, his teaching days. Yeah, of course, I think he's just a splendid director. One right? of the best, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one of the best. I think maybe that uh, until Tootsie, um, tell me if I'm on the right track, but until Tootsie, I think people didn't take him that seriously as a director, did they? Sidney? Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. No, I mean, we're talking about the man who shot, uh, you know, The Way We Were, Jeremiah Johnson. Uh, they shoot horses, don't they? Uh, Castle Keep. Uh, uh, no, a rather impressive list. No, I think that uh, in years to come, you'll find his record possibly uh, the most outstanding, the most consistent over a 20, 30 year period. He's been, uh, he's been uh, highly successful and, and, uh, and involved with, with properties that are, that are, are um, I think, significant, if not classics in, in many cases. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe it's just the public awareness. Uh, maybe that Tootsie gave him more public awareness. And of course, um, the, the nomination. Perhaps, um, perhaps, perhaps, except the, the way we were was highly successful also. Indeed. Yeah. Well, Dabney, very nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Yeah. And uh, come back to Texas, uh, your, sure will. your home state. That's right. Yeah, okay. I'll be back. Good, good luck to you with the Thank new you. film and the Broadway Thank show. Thank you very much. Thanks. Nice interview. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is this a good fix about here? Yeah. Okay. So, Dabney, what is the status now of Buffalo Bill? What is the movie you'll be doing? Are you cutting me about something like this? Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right. Have you ever played a dual role before? What is the challenge of a dual role like? It seems to me as I watch Henry Thomas that he has phenomenal concentration. Do you think if Henry were to study acting that he might get messed up? You've made what, about four movies with Sidney Pollock? How did you and Sidney Pollock first get acquainted? Now, I'll just give you some reactions. Uh, what was that question that precipitated the thing about Bruce Stern? Uh, oh, when you uh, said uh, the fifth one was, okay. Um, sound. Did you get billing? That should do it. 